I, I was just talking to you all about my virtual background. I didn't think you were that impressed. <laughs> <laughs> A whole new world, right? A whole new world, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, very good. Right, right exactly. then, Fraser, yeah. we'll, we'll leave okay. for you to lead them there. And once you've okay. finished, if you just give us a nudge and we'll unmute Danny. Yeah, okay, nice one. Hi, Danny, how are you doing? Hello, Fraser, nice to see you. Uh, first of all, uh, how are you feeling? How excited is everybody at the return of football? Yeah, very excited. Looking forward to it. Long time coming. Probably the longest I've ever prepared for a game. Nearly 100 days. I think 96 days ago we were supposed to be playing, playing Wigan. Um, so it's been a long preparation, but, but we're pleased that we're finally here and, and obviously, yeah, really looking forward to the game. As you say, the lads have been away for, for quite a long time, but you've, you've had them in for a few weeks in terms of training now and you've had a couple of uh, friendlies as well against Sheffield United and, and Middlesbrough. How happy have you been with the way everybody's shaped up in the, uh, the, the days leading up to this first game now? Yeah, we've, we've worked very hard as a group. We, um, we continue to work right the way through lockdown boys were working independently um, from home but, but we obviously had um, with modern technology we were able to to give them to, to give them all the equipment that they need all of the fitness equipment that, that they needed we had an app that we used and all the heart rate monitors and the GPS belts so that so that we were able to to track exactly the work that they were doing so so we were able to to maintain our fitness levels and then obviously coming back to the training ground initially working in small groups was was good a different way of coaching and, and actually a really enjoyable way of coaching and we got some some really good rewards there not just physically but also technically and tactically working with different groups sometimes the the players in, in departments, defenders together, midfielders together, forwards together, sometimes sort of right side together, then the left side together. And, and yeah, that, that was a really, a really enjoyable, different but an enjoyable way of training. And then it's been, it's been great in, in more recent weeks to get back as a collective group and um, be able to go into to full contact and, and like you alluded to, play some, play some pre-season friendlies, I suppose, um, in preparation for Saturday's game. It's going to be a massive ask, though, isn't it, to, to play nine games in 32 days. That's going to be, in many ways, the ultimate test of everybody's fitness, isn't it? Well, we love football here at Huddersfield, so we're, we're really looking forward to it. So I think it's, yeah, it, the, the first 12 days, I think, are going to be OK because we only have two games. But then the seven games in 20 is going to be, be a challenge. It's going to be a physical challenge. It's going to test our robustness and our resilience. Um, and it will also be a mental challenge. Um, but as I say, we love football, so... We love playing and um, bring it on. This is the longest I've been without football and um, I haven't particularly enjoyed the last, the last 100 days. So I'm certainly looking forward to the next 32. And given the fact that you've got a very young squad as well, is that going to be helpful given the, the youthful exuberance that you might uh, get from some of your players? Well, we hope so. You know, we've got a, we've got, we've got a, a squad full of energy and enthusiasm. Um, lots of young players. Uh, it's been great to have this period with them. Obviously, as a as as a manager, you, you come when you join a club mid-season like we did, sort of middle of September. You you've missed that pre-season period and that time on the grass with the group, and it's been a, a real valuable time for us to have to have this period to to work on the players both individually and the team collectively has been great, and we feel that we're going into into this Wigan game um, this time around in a much better place than maybe we would have done at the beginning of March. We feel physically physically fit, physically strong. I think we've been able to, to do some good work on the game model and we, we feel that we're in a, in a good place as a group and, and now the aim is to, to get rewards for our hard work. And mentioning Wigan, um, given the position that the two of you are in, you've got to have a great start, haven't you? Because it is, as the old uh, saying goes, a proverbial six-pointer, isn't it? Well, it's, it's a big game. It was a big game in March and now it's a big game in, in June. Um, but it's one that we're looking forward to. And we've got nine games now and we actually see it as a, as a mini season for us. So it's, it's nine games and we want to finish towards the top of the division in those nine games. So, so we're going we're gonna to attack it in a real positive, with a real positive mindset with, a, with an aggressive mentality. And um, yeah, like I said, it's, a, it's, it's an important game in our season um, and it's one that we're looking forward to. That'll do for me. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Danny. Pleasure. Thanks, Razor.